And hello there, and welcome back to another informative video from What Is Your Doctor Phone. I am Francisco, and in today's topic, it's going to be all about how to bypass FRP lock on Samsung A12. So your Samsung A12 can be FRP locked if you bought a secondhand device or tried to hard reset your phone. So the FRP lock doesn't really pose any issues as long as you remember your Google account password. However, if you no longer remember the password or have access to your Google account, this video is going to be specifically for you. So before we get started on how to bypass Google accounts on Samsung A12, do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to receive more updates. Now let's dive right into it. Part 1. What's the Android version of the Samsung A12? So, let's start with a general review of the Samsung A12 before jumping to the Samsung A12 Google account bypassing process. It is the successor to the Samsung A11 and was warmly received in the market. Introduced with Android 10, it is upgradable to Android 11. During its release year, Samsung A12 was among the best-selling smartphones with over 51 million copies sold. Now, these are going to be a few reasons why the smartphone was so popular. For one, it came with a powerful quad camera setup with a powerful 48 megapixel main camera. Also, the phone also supported a long battery life due to an amazing 5,000 million hour battery capacity. With six gigabytes of RAM and an octa-core CPU, it was among the fastest budget phones. Its 6.5 inches screen with PLS LCD display also helped to make it popular among Samsung users. Now part two, how to easily bypass a Samsung A12 Google account. So you do not need to panic if you bought a secondhand Samsung A12 and it is FRP locked. When looking for how to bypass Google accounts on Samsung A12 with Dota PC, you will come across many options. In this video, we're going to talk about three ways for Samsung A12 FRP unlock. So method number one, bypass Samsung A12 FRP without OTG for Samsung A12 with Android 10. So the best Samsung FRP unlock tool for 2023 is going to be Wondershare Dr. Phone screen unlock for Android. It can unlock any FRP locked Samsung device without needing a pen or Google account. So this tool also comes in handy when you have forgotten your Android screen lock. So with this tool, you can open passwords, pins, patterns, biometric locks, or face locks in a few minutes. So let's review the steps for Samsung A12 FRP bypass new method for Android 10. First and foremost, connect your Samsung A12 to Wi-Fi and launch Dr. Phone on your system, and then click screen unlock and choose unlock Android slash FRP. On the next screen, tap remove Google FRP lock. Here, just select Android OS 6, 9, 10, and connect your Samsung A12 to the computer. So once connected, just confirm the pop-up window on your computer to send a notification to your device. Now move to the Samsung A12 and tap view on the notification. So it will lead you to Samsung App Store where you need to download Samsung Internet Browser. Once it is installed, open it and go to DrPhoneToolkit.com. So when the link opens, tap Android 9 slash 6 slash 10 and on the next screen, press open settings. Now tap pin and afterwards select do not require and press continue. In the next window, you will need to set up a new pin. So after pin setup, press skip to move forward. Now just use the back button to return to the Wi-Fi connection page and click next. Here, just enter the pin that you created and press continue. Then you're going to see the Google account sign-in screen where you need to tap skip with it. The process for Samsung A12 FRP unlock will be completed from there. Method number two, bypass Samsung A12 FRP without OTG for Samsung A12 with Android 11. So if you want to know the procedure for Samsung A12 FRP bypassing through Android 11, no worries, this Dr. Phone screen unlock for Android has got you covered once more. So as we mentioned earlier, it is a complete solution box. All issues related to locked Android phones. So these are the steps you're going to need to follow to successfully unlock your phone with the Samsung A12 FRP bypassing unlock tool. So launch Dr. Phone on your system and then tap screen unlock. Afterward, just click unlock Android screen slash FRP and then press remove Google FRP lock on the next window. So now this time, you're going to choose Android OS 11 slash 12 and then connect your Samsung A12 to your computer. Ensure that your device is connected to Wi-Fi. After connecting the device, click confirmed in the pop-up notification and then move to your A12. So on the Samsung A12, tap view on the notification to access the Galaxy Store. 
press agree to install applications and search for Alliance Shield. Now tap install and it is going to ask you to log into the store using your Samsung account. So just create an account if you don't already have one and then log in. After logging in, tap agree to confirm the terms and conditions to successfully install the Alliance Shield app on your device. Then just open the app and press skip to move to the login page. Now use the computer to visit alliancex.org and sign up. So afterwards, just use the same account to log into Alliance Shield. Once logged in, give your device a name and tap next. On the next screen, enable device admin and press next. It will lead to a confirmation window where you need to tap activate to proceed. Again, just go ahead and hit next to move to the next window where you need to enable Nox. A confirmation window will appear once you tap next and then just go ahead and close the confirmation window using agree and press next to move forward. On the next screen, tap finish to complete the app configuration process. Now choose app manager from the screen and use the search bar to look for service mode. Be at the activities tab before accessing it and then here search for com.sec dot android dot app dot mode m u i dot activities dot usb settings then when the option is found tap it and select open from the pop-up menu here you need to check mtp plus adb and then press ok just enable the usb debugging and the ensuing notifications so afterward disconnect and reconnect the samsung a12 here, just restart your device and access the device settings. Go to General Management and tap Reset and the Reset options. Use Factory Data Reset to factory reset your device. Then once it is done, FRP bypassing Samsung A12 is going to be completed from there. Method number three, bypass Samsung A12 FRP using FRP Bypass APK. So if you don't have access to your computer and want to do a Samsung A12 FRP bypass without a PC, it is also possible. The process is a bit lengthy and complex compared to the straightforward process of Dr. Phone Android Unlock. So as long as you are able to perform the following instructions precisely, you should be able to perform Samsung a12 FRP unlock without a PC. So start by switching on your Samsung A12 and clicking the start button. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, press next and connect to Wi-Fi on the next screen. Afterward, press the volume up and power buttons together. Here, press use to open talkback and again, use the volume up and power buttons together to enable it. Now draw an L backwards and tap use voice command. Say open Google Assistant to open it. In case Bixby appears, you will need to sign in using your Samsung account instead. Now disable the talkback by pressing the volume up and down buttons together. In Google Assistant, use the keyboard to type YouTube and open it. Here tap the user icon and select settings. Afterward, hit about to open YouTube Terms of Services. You will be redirected to the Google Chrome browser. Use accept and continue to open it and then open the following links, which are going to be listed right on screen as you're going to see them. You will do one or the other. Now go to FRP Bypass APK and download Package Disabler Pro APK. Once downloaded, move to Downloads, install Package Disabler Pro APK, and tap Continue. The app won't install, so you need to repeat the process 5 to 8 times to set the permission. Afterward, move to the Tap to Open FRP Apps section on your provided links. Then select Galaxy Store Open to open the Galaxy Store, and here you need to search for Files Shortcut APK. You will be required to sign in using your Samsung account for installation. After installation, tap three horizontal bars, then select the device model and navigate to download. Install the package Disabler Pro and go back to the FRP APK slash tools page. Again, go to the tap to open FRP app section and select settings open. Open settings, tap privacy, and here just select permission manager. So on the next screen, choose files and media and use the three dots icon to select show system. Here, search for package disabler pro and select it to turn on allow management of all files. Now go to connections and turn off the Wi-Fi. After a few moments, just switch it on and go back to Google Chrome. Here, move to the tap to open FRP apps section in FRP APK slash tools. Now tap direct open package disabler pro and ensure your Wi-Fi auto reconnects after opening the app. 
So if you see the enable admin button, it means that the process actually worked. Now select I agree and tap enable admin after, and, and then just go ahead and press activate, hit agree, and wait for Knox license validation. On the next screen, use the, the search icon to look for setup. Choose Android setup, which is going to be com.google.android.setupwizard and disable it. Now select Samsung Setup Wizard, which in this case will be com.google.android.sec.setup.wizard and clear the data. With it, the process has been completed and you can now set up your Samsung A12 device without worrying about the FRP lock. With that, today's video has reached its end. So thank you so much for watching and we do hope that you were able to learn about how to perform FRP bypassing through Samsung A12. So you can share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up before we sign off. And also remember to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to receive alerts about our videos moving forward. So until next time, have a good one.